Welcome to Global Campuses Foundation Distance Learning Week 6, Staying Active. Why should we stay active? Keeping yourself active not only benefits you physically, but is also incredibly important for your mental health. Suddenly being cut off from in-person social interactions combined with being stuck inside all day and inactive is not good for our minds or our bodies. Tips from the World Health Organization. Be active at home during the COVID-19 outbreak. If you're at home because of coronavirus, it's still important to stay active every day as much as you can. The World Health Organization recommends that all healthy adults do 30 minutes per day of physical activity, and children should be physically active for one hour per day. Indoor exercises for small spaces. When we don't have access to a gym, we have to improvise. Fortunately, thanks to the internet, it is now easier than ever to work out at home using resources you can find for free online. Here are a few popular exercises that you can easily do at home, even with limited space. Yoga. Yoga has many benefits. It increases flexibility, helps reduce stress, increases your mood, gives you strength, and increases mind-body awareness. There are plenty of online yoga classes, including both free classes and classes where there's a cost. Some YouTube channels even offer complete playlists for beginners, so this is a great time to start something new. Community Partners. You can check out these online classes with our community partners, Mildell Farm Center for Wellness host of the Vermont Be True Yoga Festival. Check out their link in the description for more information. Aerobic activity. Aerobic exercise is any exercise that raises the heart rate and increases respiration, breathing. The following aerobic activities are easy to do at home. Try doing a few sets throughout the day. Jumping jacks, stair training, which can be just walking up and down the stairs. Invisible jump rope. Aerobic dancing. Aerobic dancing involves any kind of exercise put to music and can include everything from country music line dancing, aerobics to hip hop dancing. 305 Fitness. This dance cardio party is one of New York City's most popular workout classes. In light of the COVID-19 closures, they're offering free dance live streams twice a day on YouTube at noon and 6 p.m. Eastern time. You can find this link in our description. Class is now in session. Special Olympics launches School of Strength fitness campaign in response to athletes' need for at-home workouts. Now, more than ever, all athletes, including those with intellectual disabilities, need to keep their bodies fit and strong. The videos are accompanied by downloadable interactive toolkits with recipes, a fitness tracker, games, and health tips. The School of Strength campaign was created in response to Special Olympics athletes' requests for the development of more fitness resources, because like many other athletes, they aren't able to train or compete alongside their teammates. The School of Strength has three levels of videos, Superstar Trainer, Champion Trainer, master trainer. All you need to get started is a rug or exercise mat, a chair, wall, or another sturdy object you can lean on, water and a towel, and enough space to spread your arms wide. Visit www.specialolympics.org for more information. Staying active outside while distancing. Going for a walk, run, or bike ride in your neighborhood can be a good way to get active, as long as you can safely maintain distance between yourself and other active neighbors. The safest way to be active outdoors is to stick with members of your household or go solo. When you're deciding where to go outside, avoid busy areas that might make it hard for you to keep your distance from others. Physical distancing in public parks and trails. Do not use parks or trails if you're exhibiting symptoms. 
follow the CDC's guidelines on personal hygiene prior to visiting parks or trails. Be prepared for limited access to public restrooms or water fountains. Share the trail and warn other trail users of your presence in as you pass. Observe CDC's minimum recommendation physical distancing of six feet from other persons at all times. Breaking up sitting time. Staying at home more may make it easier to sit around on the couch watching television or interacting on social media. It is now more important that you are aware of sitting for too long without moving can be an unhealthy choice for long stretches of time. Reduce your sedentary time by standing up whenever possible. Ideally, aim to interrupt sitting and reclining time every 30 minutes. You can walk around the house while talking on the phone or before heading to the kitchen for a drink of water. Enabling notifications on your phone to remind you if you have been sitting for long periods of time. Eating healthy. Staying at home is challenging for everyone and the increased anxiety and boredom can cause people to abandon their healthy eating intentions and snack on whatever is around. But with a little thought and planning, you can continue to make good food choices and maybe even boost your mood and immune system. You might be surprised to learn that certain nutrients and foods have been shown to reduce anxiety and release the feel-good chemicals in our brains. They also help keep us healthy. By eating certain foods, you may feel less anxious and boost your immunity. Citrus fruit and red bell peppers are both rich in vitamin C, which in some studies has been shown to support your immune system. Magnesium-rich foods may help you feel calmer and support your immunity. Some examples are legumes like peanuts, nuts, seeds, leafy greens, and whole grains. Fatty fish like wild Alaskan salmon contain omega-3 fatty acids. A study on medical students in 2011 was one of the first to show that omega-3s may help reduce anxiety. Best food buys. The following is a list of foods with high nutritional value, which are generally affordable, accessible, and have a longer shelf life. You may use this list as an inspiration for what to keep at home during self-quarantine or longer homestays. Frozen fruits and vegetables. All frozen fruits such as berries, pineapples, and mango are great options as they still contain high levels of fiber and vitamins and are often less expensive than the fresh versions. These frozen fruits can be added to juices, smoothies, or eaten with low-fat plain yogurt after defrosting. Frozen vegetables are nutritious and quick to prepare, and consuming them can help reach the recommendations even when fresh foods are scarce. Eggs. Eggs are a great source of protein and nutrients and are incredibly versatile in the ways they can be prepared. Opt for boiling or poaching rather than frying. Canned veggies. Although fresh or frozen vegetables are normally the preferred option, Canned vegetables such as mushrooms, spinach, peas, tomatoes, and green beans are good alternatives with a longer shelf life to ensure a sufficient intake of vegetables. Grains and starchy roots. Whole grain rice and pasta, oats, buckwheat, quinoa, and other unrefined whole grains are excellent foods as their shelf life is long, they can easily be prepared, and they contribute to fiber intake. Unsalted crackers and whole grain breads are also good options. Starchy roots such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, and cassava are also long lasting and good source of carbohydrates. Snack Swap. Share your favorite snack with the global campus community. Send a picture or recipe to your academic coordinator or share it in our Facebook learning group. A global campus cookbook. Let's create a collection of recipes from global campuses all over Vermont, New Hampshire, and Thailand. Submit one of your favorite recipes to be featured in the cookbook along with a picture of you, the dish, or you cooking the dish. Be sure to include your name and what campus you attend. By sending a picture, you agree to have your picture published in the cookbook. Email your entry to academic coordinator Lacey Gross, and her information is included in the link in this video. 
help each other stay active. What activities have you done to stay active? Share your experiences with your global campuses community. Inspire each other to enjoy healthy living during this time. Is there any activity you can do together during campus? Do you have any special skills you can share? 